Hi everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs and today we are opening the July adult book from Fairy Loot and this has the theme of living legends. So let's open this up and have a look. So as normal we've got that nice bit of paper packaging stopping it from rolling around and damaging the book. There is the theme card. This is cool. This is very different to a lot of what Fairy Loot has done recently. And let's be honest, they've been smashing it. They have had some such good special editions. So the first thing that we can see here is a very pretty sprayed edge. This technically is upside down, I think. Yeah, this is the bottom of the book. Let's have a look. Oh, so we have got a completely redesigned cover. I love the colours on this. Obviously, blue is like one of my favourite colours, so I'm always very drawn to it. And the book is The Night Ends With Fire by KX Song. So on the original cover, they obviously have that theme of the dragon and we have it here as well, but obviously in blue. And then you can see there that the character is in like the shinier material. They do this a lot on their books, but the shiny surface, whereas this is very matte. And then you've got the bits of gold foiling within the dragon, within these like fire swirls. That's incredible. And again, at the bottom, you've got some of that shinier material on the mat, some of that more gold foil. Title is in white and the author's name, I was thinking that was foiling, but it's not. Again, it's that shinier material. So I love how they've played with texture here as well as colour. That is brilliant. What I also like is that they have continued that design around onto the spine. That is beautiful. Author name at the top, then the title of the book here, and then it all goes around onto the back, which says, Never Trust a Dragon. Oh, and that is in gold foiling. And again, you've got that gold foiling and the shinier on top of the matte surface. So all together, break the book open. Wow, that is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Sprayed edge. I'm trying to think, like, is that kind of taken from a part of this design somewhere? It's very similar. So you've kind of got the dragon here and here. So no, I don't think it does really flow with the rest, but it's still very pretty. Got all of these blue colours. And these colours that they've tried to obviously imitate the gold. So it's more of like that yellowy burnt orange cover. That is the lower sprayed edge and the upper sprayed edge. So that a detail. I've got a delivery. Bear with me. So that was a bit weird because normally my dogs bark when the door goes. Yeah, there was someone there. My July adult from Alcray has arrived. So I guess that's going to be the next video. We also have, I did like a little book shopping trip in Germany. So I did come back from Munich yesterday. That'll be coming on the weekend. So exciting. Let me get my breath back and we'll get back to the book. Okay, where were we? So we looked at the sprayed edge on the top and bottom, as well as that edge. Just Gorgeous. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do you know I always say that the end paper artwork is my favourite? This is stunning. So we've got our two characters and then in the background you've got the dragon and the scales. I've got that gold foiling beautiful i was so kind of like that they're not looking at us like he's looking down she's like kind of looking into the distance beautiful just beautiful 
And on the back, we've also got the character artwork. And again, they're not looking at us. This time she's kind of looking down, he's kind of looking further away. And, oh yeah, we've got this, it's not quite gold foiling, but the leaves look more gold. And then the foiling again is kind of on this scales. As if it's on a dragon, even though there's not an actual dragon in the picture. And then this, I think, is that like a lamp? That's a little bit random. Maybe that's got something to do with the story. We shall see. Is it a lamp or is it a lantern? We will find out. Okay, and then on the actual hardcover, we've got both printing and foiling. <laughs> wow. So we've got these kind of like the colour of fire. So you've got the yellows and reds at the bottom going into that darker brown at the top. And then on the front of it in the gold foiling, you've got the title of the book, the author name, and that's kind of within this window effect. And then that border going on to the edge. I realise I'm <laughs> showing it on the opposite side as I normally do. Playing my back a little bit. So you've got the same kind of colour effect on the spine with the fire going up. So then the colour's becoming darker. And again, the title an author name, gold foiling with a border effect. And the back, the border effect is the same as the front, but in the centre we have got what looks like a firebird. So all I know is from Pokemon there's a firebird called Moltres and that's very similar. Cool, wow. Stunning. Do you know what? I think the actual normal cover of this book is stunning. So the fact that we've got all this as well. Like I would have been happy with the normal version of this, but here we go. We've got the fairy loop version. This is our reverse dust jacket artwork, which interestingly, we don't normally get all of the information on here. It's usually pure artwork. But I think here we have got the synopsis. And we've got the author information, which of course we do have on the slide that they've presented us with. But this is like a full reverse dust jacket. Gorgeous. And I think, is this actually the normal cover, but with a colourway change? I think it looks very similar, if not. But actually, that's stunning. I can see why they went for this as the kind of A side, the main side, because this is very much more, oh, much, much, you could have been in Germany, I'm not going to be able to talk for days. This is very much more fairy loot style than this. This is kind of that more cartoony, very distinct colours, very bold edges and lines, even the font there. I think this is very much more fairy loot, but yeah, gorgeous. So let's have a quick look at the inside so we've got obviously our end paper artwork we've got a bound in author letter with a digital signature from the author on there so no pen signature or as we've said they've moved away from digital signatures on the author page which is great oh my gosh i love this so as well as having the dedication in english they've also got it in their home language and i'm going to assume this is chinese mythology so maybe that is either cantonese or mandarin i do not speak either i know none of either so that was a terrible sentence i know none of either i don't know <laughs> any of either language we've got a map for all those map fans out there i do love a map in a book and then it's obviously in sections part one we do have bonus content in this one, which is great. Oh, there's a to be continued. So this is definitely going to be a part of the series. We've got the author's note, the acknowledgements, and then read on for the exclusive Fairy Loot bonus content. I love that they are doing this at the moment. I love the bonus content brilliant okay so that is the book itself let's have a look at the synopsis we'll talk through our thoughts and see what everybody thinks so the three kingdoms are at war but mylan's father refuses to answer the imperial draft trapped by his opium addiction he plans to sell mylan for her dowry instead 
but when she discovers that her husband-to-be is violent and ill-tempered, she decides to take matters into her own hands. The very next day, she disguises herself as a boy and enlists in her father's place. I've heard that this is like Mulan inspired and Mulan is one of my favourite Disney films. I always think like with Frozen, people are like, oh, it's the first Disney film without, you know, relying on a strong kind of love interest between a heterosexual couple. And I'm like, Mulan? hello like that that girl she was like the first in my opinion the first kind of disney badass yeah i love her anyway sorry let's continue with the synopsis in the army mylin's hard work brings her recognition friendship and a growing closeness with sky a prince turned training partner but as her kingdom barrels towards destruction mylin must decide who to trust sky who inspires her loyalty and love a sea dragon spirit with the power to grant her impossible magic, or an infuriating enemy prince who makes her question everything she wants new about her kingdom, her loyalty, and her own heart. An epic fantasy retelling of Mulan, perfect for fans of the Poppy War and Six Crimson Cranes. Wow, absolutely love it. Okay, let's have a quick look at our artists. So we have got a, an exclusive redesigned cover, which is by at Curie underscore Huang and typography by at Michaela Alcano Design. The reversible dust jacket featuring a colorway variation of the trade cover. So it is a, a colorway change. Digital sprayed edges on all three edges is also by at Curie underscore Huang. So obviously that matches really well. Love it. Foiled character artwork on the end papers is by at Carissa underscore S underscore art. A full colour design on the hardback with foil by at Blanca dot design. Bonus content and author letter bound into the book with a digital signature. So yeah, gorgeous. I do think, so going into thoughts, this doesn't really gel as well with this. I think Fairy Loot have done much better with making sure that everything matches so i think i don't know like it is gorgeous and that's obviously gorgeous that's gorgeous i'm just not sure the colors here match but i get it and they're closer to the original colors they're closer to this art theme card so i do understand it but does it match yeah but as i say i am looking forward to this book huge mulan fan she is awesome that film is awesome i've not watched it in years i should really do a rewatch on disney plus anyway so that's our artists that's our book that's our synopsis i'm happy for this one let me know your thoughts down in the comments section or if you've got no thoughts just say hi because i like chatting <laughs> as usual otherwise i guess this is the end of our video so if you liked it don't forget to press like if you've not subscribed yet and you want to see more from me press subscribe otherwise i will leave an affiliate link to the standard edition of this book as always down in the description affiliate means that you don't pay any extra but i do make a small commission from putting the sale your way so it's a way of supporting me and the channel other than that have a great day wherever you are whatever you're up to and i will see you next time as i said probably for this and then of course for my little book shopping trip to Germany. See you next time. Bye!